As summer nods off into winter, the trees lose their leaves in autumn. This is a cycle of nature, but sometimes adhering to the natural order doesn't make for a good video game. So, On the Wind mixes things up a bit. In this spin on the endless runner genre, you need to take a group of leaves through as many seasonal changes as you can, controlling the omnipotent wind that will either carry these tree remnants through the challenges they face, or leave them to bloom into flowers upon the ground. We did mention that the natural order does not make for a good video game. Controlling the leaves is done via your finger, as the leaves will follow its trail along the screen. The leaves are very responsive and will duck and weave according to your movements. As the leaves travel along, they will jettison, so new leaves will always need to be added to your clump. Having them touch the ground will cause any leaves that make contact to turn into flowers, yet propel the rest of the herd forward, making all the canyons the game throws at you a risk versus reward venture. This is compounded by the many additional leaves resting on trees within the crevices of the world. Once you've lost your last leaf, the game ends and gives you a score on how far you've traveled. For those of you that have played the PlayStation Network game Flower, this plays a lot like a two-dimensional version of that concept, albeit with more risk and a definite lose state. The visuals are sharp, conveying a colorful and simplistic beauty, and the soundtrack is emergent, as collecting leaves will create tones to give each playthrough its own unique musical score. On the Wind is worth a play, as it's an interesting experience to be sure, but the longevity that would keep most players on board seems to be absent here. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.